Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Today, 24th of March, 2022, three o'clock Moscow time. I would like to begin the meeting of the Tishin Council dedicated to the defense of the thesis by Bersakov Alexander Pavlovich, applying for the scientific degree of the candidate of economic sciences, major 526 management, on the topic, development of the organization management structure based on the creation of value chains. I declare the meeting open. By the order of the scientific academic secretaries in Budapest University, Gnedov Alexander Valentinovich, on the 13th of January 2022, number 33-1, I, Koroblava Olga Nikolaevna, Doctor of Economic Sciences, Professor, Professor of the Department of Economic Research and Development of the Virginia State University was appointed the chairperson of the Today Dissertation Council. The same order appointed the members of the Dissertation Council. Let me introduce them. Kovalev Vitaly Valerievich, Doctor of Economic Sciences Professor, Professor of the Department of the Theory of Loan and Financial Management at the State University. Stanislav next to Tiana Ivanovna, Doctor of Economic Sciences, Professor of the Department of Management and Planning of Social Economic Processes, St. Petersburg State University. Vertakova Yulia Vladimirovna, Doctor of Economic Sciences, Professor of the Department of Management and Information Technology of the Kursk uh, Financial University, subject to the government of Petersburg. Federation. In the remote access mode, the following participants uh, participate in the meeting. Duha Vladimir Mikhailovich, Doctor of Economic Sciences, Professor, the Head of the Department of Innovative Management and Entrepreneurship of Rostov State University. Vladimir Mikhailovich, can you see and hear us? Yes, the answer is positive. Bikov Alexey Alexandrovich, Doctor of Economic Sciences, Professor, Belarus State Un Economic University. Can you hear and see us? Yes, I can see and hear you well. Thank you. The applicant is ballot is present at the meeting today as well. The scientific advisor of the applicant, Doctor of Economic Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Department of General Strategic Management of Rostov State Economic University, Dimitar Tridi Nikolaidi Akhilasevich, is also present with us today. In order to improve the connection, my dear colleagues, in the remote access mode, please mute your microphones. I would just like to say that all the visual broadcast is being carried out and live broadcast can be seen on the website of St. State University website. Simultaneous interpreting is being carried out from Russian to English and vice versa. On the screen of the remote access mode, the email address is indicated to this email address, all listeners might send questions to the applicant or express their opinions based on the content of the presentation and the thesis. Let's take part in the scientific discussion. The technical service will send those questions to uh, me and I will voice them. The questions are to be related to the content of the thesis and the presentation of the applicant. It's necessary to indicate name and position of the author of the question. Questions not related to the scientific discussion, to the thesis itself, to the presentation, as well as anonymous questions, will not be voiced. In accordance with the order of awarding the scientific degrees of the Candidate of Sciences, scientific degree of Doctor of Sciences, 
based on the local regulations of St. Louis State University. The meeting of the City Council is considered uh, to be valid if no more than two thirds of the approved membership take place in its work, and no fewer than four people. Our decision council consists of five people. All five are present. Two members of the council in the remote access mode. Audiovisual contact is provided with all of the participants. Thus, we have quorum. I would like to ask the officer uh, to produce the turnout list. Dear colleagues, our decision council consists of six people and not six are present. I'm sorry. The procedure is the following, uh, with the total duration of about two hours. Brief information by the chairperson about the applicant and the documents submitted by the applicant and their compliance with the regulations. Answers to possible questions. Brief report of the applicant on its main provisions. About 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant based on the report. No more than two minutes per question. Answers by the applicant, no more than five minutes in total. Voicing the external reviews if present. Reviews by the all the members of the decision council with the appraisal of the thesis and the presentation by the applicant. About 10 minutes per speaker. The chairperson then um, provides the review of uh, the thesis, about 10 minutes. Responses by the applicant to the questions and remarks, no more than 20 minutes. Open discussion. Those present at the defence uh, might be given the floor if they have specific questions or proposals or remarks based on the topic of the research. No more than two minutes per person. All willing to take the floor are required to indicate that their name and job in the turnout list and they need to introduce themselves prior to taking the floor. Next, the chairperson voices the questions which were received during the live broadcast on the website of St. Petersburg State University. I'd like to pay attention to the fact that uh, written questions, which require more than two minutes to be voiced, will not be voiced. Answers by the applicant, no more than two minutes per question. Speech by the scientific advisor, no more than three minutes. Discussion with the members of the Dissertation Council prior to open roll call of the results of the dissents. Uh, the sound of the broadcast is muted. Open roll call. Voice count by the chairperson of the Dissertation Council with the subsequent entry of the information into the minutes of the meeting. Taking decision on awarding or non awarding the scientific degree. And the final word of the applicant in more than two minutes. Dear colleagues, are there any questions or objections to the above mentioned procedure? Since there are none, I will move on to the implementing the rules of the procedure. First of all, I'd like to ask you to mute the sound of your phones, apart from my colleagues in the remote access mode, for we might need to be able to contact you in, call, in case of technical failure. I'd like to start on a meeting. A brief report by the chairperson. The thesis by Bezogovsky Sandrpandovich for the scientific degree of the Candidate of Economic Sciences, Major 5 to 6, Management, on the topic Development of the 
organization management structure based on the creation of value chains was taken for defense according to the order by the 27th of December 2021, number 1291-1. But the company Sandra Pavlovich made the research based on the South State Economic University as a postgraduate student. Scientific advisor is the Doctor of Economic Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Department of General Strategic Management of Rostov State Economic University. Dmitry Yardy Nikolai Ahilesevich. The number of publications by the applicant with the main results of the research are seven published works, six in the uh, publications from the list approved by the Ministry of Education for Russian Federation and one publication in um, in the uh, magazines indexed by Scopus. The above mentioned documents according to the information received by me comply with the requirements of the City University. Their copies can be found in the attestation file of the applicant. Prior to giving the floor to the applicant, I would like to ask the members of the decision council. Dear members of the decision council, do you have any general questions to the applicant? Is there a need to voice the entire list of the documents submitted for defence? If none, we will proceed. I'd like to give the floor to Alexander Pavlovich. Good afternoon, dear members of Decision Council colleagues and guests. I'd like to bring your attention to the thesis on the topic development of the um, structure of management of the organization basis of the formation value chains. The choice of the topic is due to the current situation in the economy. In pre pandemic period, and five percent of new companies consume market industries closed down within the first three years. Now it is less than three. Um, many companies lose up to 12% of productivity every year. Top managers, CEOs and operating directors also reduce the average uh, holding the post uh, reduced to 2.5 years. 10 years ago it was 5 years, 20 years ago it was 6, 7 years. So we have a negative dynamics and sustainable dynamics. There is also another trend. The consumer is increasingly online and now it's about 7.8 hours a day, half of them in social networks. On average, one person is subscribed to six social platforms, to three instant managers and messages in several social networks and content platforms. Thus, an incredible stream of information, opinions and suggestions about the content is faced by people every minute. As a result, there is a high and accelerating dynamics of transformation target audiences of consumers, the new expectations, desires and needs. Digitalization of business is response to the change in demand of consumers. In order to meet the expectations of consumers, companies are actively digitalizing individual processes. But this is digitalization for the sake of itself, which creates even more organizational chaos. As a result, the guidelines are not clear for the management company. They continue to base their practices on old uh, traditional forms. Uh, they do not have time to identify um, the target audiences and thus ignore them. It's necessary to develop new flexible management structures based on value chains, taking into account target audiences and their needs. Uh, the object of the research on manufacturing companies um, in, the t in terms of their approach to the formation value chains and the construction and management system for the latter. Uh, the purpose is the theoretical and methodological justification and development of new approaches to the development of the organization's management structure based on the formation of value chains. I also identify a number of tasks which you can see in the slide. In my research, I relied on the work of Russian and foreign authors, uh, some of which are presented on the slide. 
Unfortunately, the issue of choosing guidelines for creating value chains in the current condition of circulating changes haven't yet been studied. Yikes, so I'd like to pay more attention to the key components of the thesis. Um, I offered an approach to managing the value chain, which consists of uh, focusing the analysis of all participants of the chain. As I noted before, the market has changed. Target groups and their expectations are constantly changing. Cumbersome, flexible structures leave no chance to have time to adapt to the changing needs of consumers. On the other hand, there are companies uh, which uh, focus on uh, narrow areas. These companies perform their functions faster, better, and, most importantly, they're cheaper. An approach that focuses on all market participants and partnership in the value chain is a solution because it's not possible to transform the structure to the constantly changing expectation of buyers, but it's possible to switch to partners with relevant services. Uh, the, one of the recent example is the following. I tested a number of manufacturers, uh, whether they have the function that could be outsourced to third-party companies, um, no more expensive than the company itself could perform it. In four directions, production, logistics, promotions of goods and sales. As a result, we identified 86 support functions across all function blocks, ranging from analytics, advertising to delivery and storage function. As a result, there are distribution and coordination of function to partner companies made it possible to optimize cost up to 5% and increase revenue by up to 15. It was an example of transforming the bakeries uh, of one of the retail chains to frozen products from the third party supplier, which optimized the start for it use losses and gave a fixed product quality which affected the increase in sales. Such an approach is now widely distributed in companies, not only in the consumer market. Also, a sequence of management actions was developed when forming a company management system based on the analysis of key success factor target audiences and their expectation. 100% of the survey company chose the uh, basic target audience and focused on it uh, when creating management of value chains. Almost always it was historical choice. Uh, it means that once upon a time someone has decided that. I'd like to give you another example of a different adaptive approach. The Cusfil company, which exists since 2009, has been actually developing and uh, is showing a pacing growth. The secret of success lies in the dynamic value chain management structure based on the continuous collection of feedback from consumers and subsequent adaptation of the latter and the management system to customer expectations. This a client-oriented model is the core of the continuous transformation of the value chain and management system. Such so-called liquid structures take any form to meet consumer needs. Sustainable contably, uh, companies, big companies, but business, intuitively understand that they need to know more about the target audience. For example, to 10 retailers spent 300 million to 1 billion rubles a year only in an analytical report on their target audiences and their consumption, using the service, until recently, of the Russian representative office of the American European company. The effectiveness of such reports is far from perfect. Taking into account this situation and the request for a number of state bodies, uh, a domestic company, Technologies for Industry Transformation Brands, about analytics was created based on Spurban data and companies in the spirit ecosystem and their partners was information arrays of data of certain state institutions. Today, this company is the industry leader in big data analytics in the consumer market. That's based on this uh, approach. Uh, a new industry was created. A theoretical and methodological approach to the formation of value chain has been developed, linking this structure of buyer's interests in the breadth and depth of the range of consumer goods and um, various types of religious services with the uh, level of family income spent on the purchase of the goods. 
during the course of the research, I was looking for key factor insulin di differentiation of target audiences and their expectations. The tools used for the study made it possible to analyze data and consume behavior, formation and transformation of target groups and their expectation. Accumulative outlays of depersonalized data of the magnet network were analyzed starting from 2001 to 2019. Uh, two uh, SMEs and 57 million of, of financial transactions of individuals. That is more than one billion transaction per month. As a result, it was possible to identify the following trend. The lower the family income, the higher the share of spending on consumer goods. The higher the share, uh, the lower are the consumer requests. The lower consumer requests, the low is the level of development of consumer market technologies and uh, according to any other mechanics of forming value chains. So put it simply, when the family spends more than half of its income consuming goods and the cheapest and most high calorie products is in demand. There is no choice, no services are necessary. That's a situation when the survival is of key importance. But as family income grows, consumer preferences change. The value of time grows. The consumer wants more choice, a uh, different level of service, doesn't want to waste time on routine purchases, wants delivery, personalized approach, and so on. As a result, consumer request forms the, influences the uh, market supply for technology that satisfies the request. I tested such an approach on one of the federal networks during the annual budget planning development, open stores and half markets, procurement of volumes of certain categories of goods to distribution centers in various regions, and plans for renovation of the network. The budget was optimized by 2.3 billion rubles and redirected to other channels of the company development. And now this network continues applying this approach in its commercial activity and network development. The priority components of the functional structure were identified in the conditions of high budget period of consumer market development. In the course of the study, in one of the proposed scenarios, I saw that distribution in its current form is being transformed, eventually leading to the stratification of its function, partial digitalization and redistribution between manufacturers and network trading companies. In order to test this hypothesis within the framework of the digital distribution project, a tool was created that replaces the main functions of the classic distributor. We conducted a test uh, and we confirmed that there is a possibility of replacing classical redistribution with tools in the hands of manufacturers and retailers. In our case, the store was used by the distributor itself, which allowed him to optimize the cost and increase the speed and quality of processing and selling goods. The stages and the results of the project implementation can be seen in the slide. This wasn't the final point. For certain categories of startups, as a part of Sberbank's SME support program, digital distribution tools and all that assessment of target audiences were offered free of charge. As a result, we increased the survival rate of the consumption of the companies up to 70%. To put it simply, I continue observing a focus group of companies using digital distribution tools. And uh, for the fourth year in a row, they're working, developing, despite the difficult conditions for business in recent years. The structure of business models was substantiated. Um, it is based on the transition to companies producing distribution functions. A new structure and business model was offered to manufacturers, as well as tools for continuous analysis of the target audience and centralization of distribution functions, such as order collection, solvency assessment, resolve sales management, customer loyalty management, and many more. As a result, the manufacturer received an additional 17% margin. Previously, 23-27% was given to the distribution in the form of discount, so that producers' goods would be sold in not chain stores. But according to the new structure, the producer has only external costs on logistics, logistics from up to 6% and part of advertising. All the other functions are controlled by the manufacturer. 
Several years lapsed and the concept of the thesis increasingly being confirmed. The market has been transformed in terms of uh, reapproachment between the producer and consumer. The Far Eastern Company participating in this the research uh, based on our recommendations strengthened the logistics part of the since launching its own production that is transformed into a manufacturer and logistics company. Many other distribution companies, uh, the opponents um, who didn't take this trend into account did not survive. They're also virtual producers. This is a group of person uh, who can create a full cycle from production and packaging to logistics and sales to everything without leaving the room using the tools and approaches that I mentioned before. This method is often used by bloggers when organizing the full share cycle for the audience. Some Russian bloggers last year sold their own brand of cosmetics to the subscribers for two or more billion rubles. Some even up to 15 rubles. A billion rubles. In conclusion, I'd like to say that the approaches and concept proposing that the, the research are actively used in various projects and systems. Some of these are the National Project Productivity, which received it, which uh, was rebooted in 2019, based on the new approaches from the thesis. The risk credit system of individual banks used the findings of this uh, thesis research in their valuation algorithm. The new domestic industry of big data has been practically created from scratch. Thank you for your attention. Dear colleagues, have you got any questions to Alexander Pavlovich? Alexander Pavlovich, could you please tell me the growth of importance. How can it um, result in the uh, growth of the value of business? There is a value-oriented model and your research in terms of a value chains, how does it correlate with the um, value of business itself? There is direct correlation. To put it simply, uh, the loyalty of the clients is of key importance. But if we talk about quantitative values, but you talk about marketing aspects But did you pay attention to that in your research? Did it result in the growth of the business as such? You Have you analyzed it? We saw a certain links, but we didn't have them in the thesis. issues are being analyzed and in the future I'm planning to work on the research. Are there any more questions? Dear colleagues in the remote access mode, do you have any questions to the applicant? No questions, thank you. Under the current conditions, when geopolitical factors influence, influence so much, will the value change change and what will be the key trends? Well, under the current situation, it is of special importance. And yesterday, I was answering the phone calls based on my thesis and research and I was told that uh, this is not the thesis, but the instruction for anti-crisis management. So 
So the approach uh, is uh, applicable under the current situation. You considered several scenarios, and I think that your research is very positive. Which scenario will development be based on, based on the uh, value chains? I reviewed the scenarios of uh, high budget period, since it is one of the most difficult periods and it provides impotence for development of demand. But if we follow the scenario of a lower level, then we won't talk about any technology and positive scenarios. I did not view the most negative option. We had a more positive approach to the development of technology and business model. Alexander Pelich, could you please say what was your role in the uh, development of the national product productivity? I participated in the working group based on the Ministry of Economics, where we reviewed the model of um, consumer-related approach uh, to manufacturing and increasing of the productivity. I used the approaches stated in my thesis and they were used. Has anybody else got any questions? Since there are no questions, we will proceed with the reviews by the members of the Decision Council. Kovalev Vitaly Valerievich, your review, please. Dear colleagues, I would like to say a few words about the novelty and this um, growth is never sustainable. The parameters depend on the level of comfort of companies and businesses. Well, this is a truism, and it's been known for quite some time. And the joint efforts taken by uh, communities to improve the situation in economic situation. And these efforts include standardization and information technology. Wooden business cannot uh, function in information void, but even in case of information stagnation. It is necessary to develop and transform the existing approaches to running businesses, which have in mind long-term aims. This strategic approach and different types of property are rather complex, individually organized mechanisms. Recently, the situation is aggravated by the speed of uh, taking uh, decisions. The importance of creating information uh, grants and the development of businesses and the importance of these problems were the basis of choosing the topic of the research. The aim was to find the ground of developing approaches to identification of the uh, organization management structure based on value chains. The targets have already been mentioned. Some of them include the creation of the concept of value chains, Con creating the concept of the producer companies, identify the value chain under the influence of different factors, and introduce the algorithm based on the introduction of digitalization. The logic is clear based on the uh, goals and aims of the research. Uh, the structure was logical 
and the main provisions were well exemplified. The novelty lies in the fact of creating the methodology of the research based on the uh, result in the target market. Certain uh, scientific results were created. An approach to creation of the chain values was uh, identified based on the specification of the motives of different actors. The thesis provides this information on pages 26 to 24. The algorithm of the work of management was identified, which allowed to reach the high level of importance of the management structures. The next result, the mechanism of formation of the chain of value formation was offered, which links the uh, interest of the consumer to the range of goods. The key priority components of the functional structure were identified page 82 and 103. And the final result is that the business model used by the producers uh, was wealth-based, taking into account the use of digital resources. And producers operated with distributors. The specific expectations of the target groups were taken into consideration, and the practical influence was in the creation of the algorithm of the activity of management in order to achieve the target results. The above mentioned factors allowed to say that uh, because of the critical analysis of the reference material, the scientific provisions, recommendations, and ideas found in the thesis are reliable. As for uh, remarks and questions, I would like to say that the thesis uh, itself is of high quality. Nevertheless, there are certain remarks. Um, there should be universality of algorithm. If we um, use this uh, example based on other companies, um, will it be possible to use the same value chains? And will we have the same results in the industries? Uh, nothing was mentioned about the uh, synergistic effect of the chain. I would like to see more accentuated opinion. And the structure of the thesis and some paragraph titles uh, rose certain questions. Chapter 3 actually fits into paragraph 33. Chapter 3 and the thesis itself are almost identical in terms of the title. Perhaps such detail is not entirely justified. And my, finally, I would like to say that the thesis in general complies with the requirements established by, by the order of St. Petersburg State University and the thesis on the topic development of the structure, the organization management structure based on the creation of value chains. It corresponds to the requirements order number uh, 11181-1 dated November 19, 2021. And the applicant himself deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of economic sciences major five to six management.
Clauses 9 and 11 of the above mentioned procedure were not violated. Thank you, Vitaly Veric. Alexander Pavlovich, you can provide uh, responses to the remarks after each of the remark of review or uh, at the very end of all the reviews. I'll provide the responses at the end of all the reviews. Now I'd like to, to give the floor to Bikov Alexei Alexandrovich. Good afternoon, dear colleagues, dear members of the Decision Council. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to take part uh, in the work of the Decision Council on the Remote Access Mode. Uh, my review was published uh, on uh, the websites, so I'm not going to repeat uh, my review in its full form. And I would like to pay attention to certain uh, aspects of the thesis. And I would like to voice some remarks or positive views. I would like to say that I consider the work very interesting and original and the problem of the value chains is analyzed um, in an innovative way i used to uh, work on the topic on global scale and we used it based according to the tables and then mathematical model was provided in here the approach is a little bit different The real objects of research were taken into consideration. The uh, chain of shops magnet was taken into consideration, and this is uh, a very important aspect. Uh, moreover, all the aspects of the operation of the company were taken into account. Uh, Pre-production, logistics, uh, post-production, client interaction, based on polls, based on target groups, target market, target customers. Um, specific approach was created based on what the end product should look like. And not only such factors as profits and expenses were taken into account, but the achievement of value was the key factor. Like Michael Porter said, it's important to achieve the values and we uh, pay attention to the value of the products in the eye of each particular client because all clients might have a quite different viewpoint on the values and the author provided detailed analysis of such values based on real life data thus i was uh, strongly in favor of the research part of the thesis and in my review i said that the novelty is uh, without any doubt. As for certain issues for discussion, I would like to uh, voice them in uh, particular. And there are three aspects. The author uh, focuses the attention of manufacturing companies in the value chains. They form a minimum number of potential target groups of buyers. Page 73. I'd like to ask what specific benefits can producers get by extending their effort to a larger group, uh, target groups? The second question. On pages 121 and 122, the author describes the strategy of the pathological company. And I would like to know what the author's opinion about the potential uh, downsides of this strategy uh, based on the uh, high budget period. Third, I'd like to know the author's opinion on the potential impact of the expanding transformation of the consumer market on the competitive structure of changing industries. Can the author describe the features of the practical implementation of the concept of reference business strategies by Porter in the updated industry? So these are my discursive uh, questions.
But on the whole, the thesis by Alexander Pavlovich Barsakov is uh, a research paper which was carried out on a high uh, level. Uh, it is a novel and of practical values, and all the provisions for defense are well grounded. The provisions for defense and the results of the of research were published in the publications according to the list. And the thesis itself uh, complied with the requirements of the order St. Petersburg State University. And applicant Barsakov Alexander Pavlovich has been awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of economic sciences, major management. Thank you. Prior, we, prior proceeding, I'd like to pay attention to the Members of the Decision Council. Since all the reviews were published on the website of St. Peter's State University, if the Members of the Decision Council, I would like to offer the following. Uh, voice only the key issues, questions and remarks um, and objections to the applicant. If there are no objections, or we shall proceed. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I would like to pay attention to the key issues that I consider quite important and probably require further research. The most pressing issue is about the further process in uh, logistics and in economic, in economics. And based on that, this paper is increasingly important. Certain provisions for defense are very practically oriented. Well, the work is well justified. Many aspects were analyzed in detail. Large number of sources was provided. This uh, research was carried out based on carefully chosen material. The results obtained by the author comply with the major management five to six and the author fulfills the goal set in the very beginning that's theoretical methodological grounds for creating new approaches to uh, organization management structure based on creating the value chains because of logical analysis of the data, information of scientific and practical approaches, the uh, aim of the work was achieved. The structure of the thesis, uh, the empirical um, analysis corresponds to the requirements. The thesis itself is well structured and logical. I'm not going to provide information about each chapter. I'd like to pay additional attention to the uh, fact that certain ideas were truly original and unique. Dear members of the Decision Council have already mentioned that a new scientific approach was developed, and I noted it as well, when the scientific approach binds together the use of the key factors on target market and it is analyzed as the instrument uh, of incentive advising the production of the goods. The efficiently functioning uh, chain formation, chain of values uh, were identified and the author proves 
calculations that these estimates are valuable and reliable. As for novelty, I found it quite uh, original that uh, the targets in the sphere of formation of cost and development of theoretical and methodological approach based on the analysis of specification of the uh, target uh, market based on the share of the uh, income of the household. And these ideas are quite innovative. Pre-budgetary, high budgetary periods, uh, post-budget periods were um, identified in a very detailed way and criteria for each were uh, provided and identified. Next, as for the components of chains by producers as factors of success, the technologies of use based on large scale consumer demand uh, exemplified by consumer goods. The conclusions are very interesting and uh, the whole our paper is an easy read, quite an interesting one. Uh, depending on the scale of the retailers, depending on the results of exploitation of the unique environment, uh, certain methods were proposed. Very often, we forget about such aspect mentioned by the author is emotionally important goods and this is a very interesting approach and it is worth paying attention to and it uh, should be developed and it might be very important for women and for the family as well what i especially liked uh, was the uh, scenario approach to the transformation of the components. I have certain remarks uh, about this issue. I'll talk about it a little bit later. This is the first time when this approach was introduced and it requires in-depth analysis. And I will uh, have a couple of questions based on uh, this approach, on this scenario-based approach. And we, as researchers, are to provide um, theoretical uh, assistance in the situation of the uh, changing environment. I would like the applicant to continue research in several um, dimensions. So certain aspects require further research. As for the remarks, I wouldn't say that these are like negative aspects, but I would just recommend the author to uh, be more profound in the research. I have four proposals. The author proposes specific limits for changing the value of the uh, family budget indicator that were proposed on pages 106 and 108 which determine the structure of interest of target markets. I'd like to ask how stable um, are these boundaries of the ranges in longer period? The author described the main options for value chain information, which will be formed as services are digitalized. Uh, environment develops and the functionality is redistributed between manufacturers and wholesalers. It 
a bit interesting to hear the author's opinion on the possible distribution of financial flows between these types of chains. And the next uh, question is not a discursive question, but it will mm, be an impetus for the author to develop this topic. The author examines in detail the issue of changing relations between chain their participants in the context of digitalization. It's necessary to emphasize that knowledge about this aspect of the influence of digital technology is extremely important and remain rather limited in modern conditions. Nevertheless, certain questions of uh, the role of the state in the management of the uh, chain value and creation remain aside. Did the author study this? Did the author study this most pressing questions? What are the directions of the state policy of Russia in order to integrate the country into global value chains in the context of your subject area? And finally, discuss. In my opinion, in modern conditions, in our opinion. The problem of adapting the chains to the pandemic and global economic crisis has come to the forefront. And uh, we're talking in here about the need to increase the adaptability of the chain values to different very uh, types of shocks. I would like to know the author's opinions of the most important uh, tools for adapting the chain values values of chains and to the uh, shock situations in the Russian economy. On the whole, I have a very positive uh, appraisal of the thesis and all the remarks um, focus on the uh, incentivizing further development of research in the area. and. The overall conclusion is that the work by Alexander Pavlovich uh, on the topic development of organization management structure based the creation of value chains is um, a research paper carried out at a high level of uh, professionalism. The so thesis is a fully fledged research work which complies with the requirements for the uh, Thesis. Thus, the research paper by Alexander Pavlovich, Development of the Organization Measurement Structure Based on the Creation of Value Chains, corresponds to the requirements by the Swedish State University based on the procedure of awarding scientific degrees in Petitburg State University. The applicant, Barsukov Alexander Pavlovich, deserves being awarded scientific degree of the candidate for economic sciences major five two six management clauses nine to eleven of the above mentioned procedure were not violated. Thank you for your attention. Tatiana Vanda, thank you very much. And now I'd like to give the floor to Yulia Vladimirovna. Dear members of the Distinction Council, to Alexander Palich. I'd like to voice my review. As for the relevance, the relevance is quite obvious and the importance of selling the products um, has been of uh, increasing importance because of the uh, changing factors and which accelerated the process of digitalization, which was uh, described in detail by Alexander Chvalovich. The interaction between the other participants of the uh, chains, as well as retail and uh, wholesale uh, companies. And the issue of uh, value chains starting from Marta Porta are still relevant, especially nowadays in the situation of dynamic transformation, encompassing all spheres 
of activities and all types of companies mentioned in the thesis. As for the scientific conclusions and provisions for the defense, the aim is to theoretically and methodologically um, justify the new approaches to the development of the structure uh, of organization management based on value chains. The goal, aims and targets were rightly identified. The structure was logical and the stages uh, were conducive to uh, substantial conclusions. The chapter uh, gives each chapter gives information about the tasks, targets, and aims um, of the applicant. The structure of the work is clear. In the first chapter, the author analyzed a plethora of a reference material, starting with uh, rushing. Uh, monographies and um, works by collectors of authors, as well as many uh, internet-based publications. The second chapter describes the stages of the research conducted, the specification of the value chains uh, of Russian companies, and the results and conclusions provided. The author created the concept of of formation of value chains based on the key um, factors of success uh, formulated by the author. In the third chapter, the author analyzes the trends and dynamics of different uh, system of management organization when the um, value chains are transformed because of the uh, changes in expectations of customers, as well as the external factors influencing the economic change. Apart from the reference materials that were used to substantiate the uh, position of the author, many analytical data were used, uh, such as reports by um, Magnet Chain, 64 regions, 475 cities across the Russian Federation. In order to process such amount of data, the new methods and innovative instruments were used by the author. All the goals set were met. As for the scientific novelty, The key scientific results are the following. The author formulates a unique theoretical methodological approach to management of value chains, and they are used to form and uh, make the management system of the producers more efficient. And certain uh, advice on success were provided based on the target market, thus re-engineered business process is being provided. The algorithm of the producer company um, of the management uh, value chain uh, based on the use of the key success factors which allow to create an efficient management system irrelevant of the services and goods provided by the company. The author uh, identifies three types of structures, um, three types of value chain structures, saying that they are formulated into the high budget period of consumer market. And this was the period analyzed in the research. And this is, of course, the element of scientific novelty because uh, the producers of different priorities 
uh, priority goods, each uh, segment of the chain might be more or less important based on the uh, market chain segment. The structure used by the company of a certain business model to manage each uh, value chain, crea each creation of value chains aspect based on the digitalization process. Uh, thus, the author talks about the uh, redistribution of the resources to uh, improve the management. And the results are uh, of the research are novel and reliable. And I have a couple of questions. Uh, the first, the author considers the bias demands for the structure of the product range, various types of services and technologies as evolutionary factors in the transformation of value chains in the production sale of consumer goods. Uh, can the author name the factors driving the transformation of value chains in other areas of economy, if there are any, uh, or there are any expected to? In the transformation of the value chains described by the author, uh, is based on the high budget period of the market, and uh, the key uh, is the family budget, uh, and. What are the factors beside these ones and beside the widespread use of digital technology can be the driving force behind the transformation of value chains? Especially this question is pressing nowadays. I would like to note uh, the importance of this thesis for practical purposes. Uh, the results yielded are logical and the goal of the research is achieved. The thesis by Alexander Pavlovich, the development of the organization management structure based on the creation of value chains, corresponds to the main requirements of awarding scientific degrees in specialist state university. And uh, Alexander Bursukov has been awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of uh, economic sciences major 5 to 6 plus 9 to 11 were not violated. Thank you, colleagues. Julia Vladimirovna, thank you. Vladimir Mikhailovich, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. Prior to talking about my review, I'd like to thank my colleagues and the uh, chairperson for the opportunity to participate in this meeting today. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't take uh, part in it in person, but I do hope that I will be able to uh, perform my functions in the remote access mode. The presentation of the paper today proved that the topic chosen is pressing digital transformation currently sets the target of constantly improving the management system and looking for a new approach to its development based on the modern instruments. The classical approach by Michael Porter uh, allows not only to regulate uh, all the functions implemented by the company which create the uh, value in the uh, chain production, uh, sale, uh, consumption. What is more, uh, it allows to manage the chain. And the applicant today uh, pays attention to that. Thanks to the use of digital uh, technology in uh, management of the company, uh, makes it possible to create such a management system with the function of um, creation of value chains. The aims and goals are based on the topic of the research and the author 
um, formulated is theoretical methodological grounds and the development of new approach to the development of uh, organization management structure based on the creation of value chains. The applicant analyzed a plethora of reference materials and the results of the research can be found in the publications by the author, including publications in the Scopus reviewed magazines. The structure of the work is logical and it allowed to solve the above mentioned aims. Which is of special interest is the innovative approach of the scientific conclusions. The novelty lies in the fact that the applicant provided the theoretically methodological approach to the creation of the value chains based on the uh, quantitative estimation of the expectations of the members of the chain and to the management of the components of the chain based on the key factors of success. The author provided a theoretical methodological approach to the management of value chains based on the use of the key factors on the specific market, which are the instruments of initiating active role of each member of the chain uh, in order to achieve the optimal result. the stages of activity of the management of the company are provided. Theoretically, methodological approach to the creation of value chains based on the uh, income of a household allowed to identify the uh, values of each consumer group on the target market and create effective uh, chains which aim at specific groups of buyers or consumers. Key success factors were identified in case of high budget period of development of consumer market. Formulated by the producer. And take into account the transformation of the development of uh, digitalization of the economy, the structure of business model used by the producers when managing each of the three types of um, creation of value chains. The practical and theoretical importance of the research is rather high. And in the presentation, of the applicant, it was easy to identify the expediency of the results. All the conclusions are well grounded based on the um, information provided by the applicant in the today's presentation. Of course, such extensive work might arise certain questions. That's why. I do have certain issues for discussion. Some of the questions correlate with the questions voiced by the members of the Decision Council. I'm interested in the following aspect about the universality of the certain proposals that the author gives. Is it possible to use a proposed approach to managing value chains by manufacturing companies operating in business markets, for example, industrial equipment for manufacturers of uh, consumer goods? Today we talked about the company producers of uh, consumer goods, uh, but the applicant said that uh, he has experience in other markets and structures. How can these criteria be used in other types of markets? 
And another question? How stable is the management system? In time. Um, if there is a drastic change of conditions, the one that we are experiencing nowadays, how will this drastic change allow to use this management system based on the value chains? If we take into account the drastic changes that um, might be faced by any participant of the value chains, in my opinion, the answers to these questions will uh, greatly enhance the practical use of the conclusions provided by the author. In general, the research paper is of practical and scientific interest. The conclusions presented in the work are well grounded and they are of importance. The thesis by Bersukov on the topic development of the organization management structure based on the creation of value chains corresponds to the main requirements by the order of wooden scientific degrees at Spitalia State University. And we believe that Alexander Pavlovich Pesukov has been awarded the scientific degree of the uh, Candidate of Economic Sciences 526 Management. Clause signed in 11 were not violated by the author. Thank you. Thank you, Vladimir Mikhailovich. I'd like to proceed with my review. Take into account the uh, novelty and the practical use of the uh, work allows us to understand the practical importance of the uh, work. I would like to pay attention to my uh, remarks. Uh, the study of the process of designing supply chains was carried out on the example of Russian manufacturing companies. However, it does not disclose which companies are assigned by the author to the group and what specifics of value chains of sub companies. The expediency of using precision analysis to assess the uh, assess the dynamic organization of target groups is officially substantiated, and the methods used for this type of analysis are not disclosed. And one more a discussive issue, despite the high significance of the empirical studies conducted by the author, the criteria for the formation of target groups during the survey and uh, expert surveys are not fully substantiated. The thesis by Abrasokov Alexander Pelich, topic development of organization management structure based on the creation of value chains, corresponds to the requirements by the uh, Order St. Petersburg State University on awarding the scientific degrees at St. Petersburg State Universities. And the applicant, Bersukov Alexander Pavlovich, deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of uh, economic scientists, major five to six. Clauses nine and 11 were not violated. The applicant now is given the floor to proceed with responses. As for the specification, uh, it is possible to attain the same results in all types, in different uh, types of branches, economic branches. As for the length of the value chains, the uh, number of the stages is important, but they are not critically important because they have no influence on the uh, overall information. As for the synergy, I agree with the remarks and we will pay attention to that in the future. As for the structure, I fully agree with the remarks. 
As for other target groups, when different target groups are aimed, then the volume of uh, the sales increases. At the first stage, certain customers are targeted, then the average bill is increased and the certain services are provided. As for the retailer Bitorichka, we can see that the assortment and the uh, price formation is not adaptive depending on the region and target group. And I know that they are working uh, on their strategy. As for the concept of uh, porter business strategies, they uh, are still applicable and we use the optimal uh, options for implementing the uh, structures based on Porter. As the family budget and the stability of the parameters, as I have mentioned before, we use this information on the consumer preferences uh, starting from uh, 2001 over 19 years and over time the uh, ranges were rather stable. Of course, inflation and uh, other factors might be of importance. As for redistribution of financial sources between the types of chains, uh, already today we see that stable uh, redistribution can be found in logistics, uh, about 5% coordinating platforms such as marketplace and digital distributors, about 2 to 5%, and everything else is allocated to the production and the promotion of goods. As for state politics, uh, we did not research it separately, but we understand that there will be regulation in the sphere of taxes and tariffs. Based on the current situation, the work proves to be applicable in the current situation. As for the factors of value chains, uh, they might include the globalization processes and the climatic uh, changes and influences. What might be a digital factor of transformation? As I can see, further personalization of services is of crucial importance. But this issue hasn't been technologically uh, investigated. Whether this approach can be used in other uh, branches, for example, in the production of uh, industrial equipment, I see no obstacles and Construction companies use these approach, and banking companies and healthcare companies use such approaches. As for our specific difficulties for each branch, As for the stability of the management system in time, it is expedient to talk about the flexible and adaptive systems. As for the companies, we first analyzed the manufacturers of uh, food products, and then we switched to the companies producing dairy products. 
as for expediency after using uh, a quantitative material, it was necessary since we wanted to see the specific differences in the expectation of target audience. We also used the interview when analyzing the results. Now we uh, analyzed the interview, semantic analysis was used to analyze the interviews of the experts. As for the criteria of forming target groups, I do agree with the remark to a certain extent. We uh, wanted to analyze the uh, existing groups, the description of which we uh, were provided with by the experts, but then we identified these groups when analyzing big data. Thank you, Alison Palovich, for your responses. To your colleagues, would anyone like to take the floor? You can introduce yourself, Alison Palovich, you can take the seat. To your colleagues, I'll be brief. Professor Sambiri was a State Economic University, Plotnik of Andre, a Doctor of Economic Sciences. This uh, paper is of interest because when uh, the decision Council was formed, I was also offered to take part in it, but I failed uh, on certain parameters, I suppose. But I was interested in the work and I would like to say that their research work corresponds to the, all the requirements. It is um, relevant and novel, especially within the last, the situation of the uh, recent weeks. The key problem in the economy of Russian Federation and global economy is the uh, possible breaks in the chain values, especially transboundary values. And today's thesis, which provides not only certain theoretical ideas, but practical advice on a formation of value chains, is of great practical value. I, I think that we'll see a series of similar papers based on the current situation. But this is the pioneer work in a way. I would also like to voice a certain critical remarks based on the paper and might be of assistance to the author. The provision about the um, income of the household and the structure of consumption. Uh, such research was conducted more than 100 years ago. The same approach was used by German economists and it should have been mentioned in the report since um, these research this research was conducted on different empirical data, but fundamentally the theoretical approach was um, used long ago, and the author uh, agreed with Engel, who talks about the difference in the structure of consumption uh, in case of the change of the uh, income level. Uh, next one. What's the difference of the provisions two and three? The second provision is aimed at the differentiation market. There is branding, there are certain target audiences which are to be studied. Everything is correct, methodologically right. But in the third provision, coming back to angle, there are two types of competitive strategies of companies. According to Porter, these are uh, companies oriented at working on differentiating markets and differentiating the um, markets and the companies oriented at a lower uh, 
prices. In general, this is such. And the, uh, this provision is related to the strategies of companies working in differentiation of uh, the range of the products. The companies working within the strategy of low price and uh, these results are uh, not applicable. Uh, this distinction was voiced in the context, but not too clearly identified. We can have different approach to the um, actions of the consumers. In St. Petersburg, sugar is lacking. In Yekaterinburg, uh, for example, uh, sugar was present. And why? Uh, why there was enough sugar there? Because the price was 120 per kilo. The price increased and there was uh, no increased demand. And sugar is consumed, but in reasonable uh, quantities. I'd like to say that my critical remarks are rather not negative aspects, but uh, some ideas. And they will help the applicant in his future research. I can't vote uh, since I'm not a member of the council, but I would like to say that I believe that this a thesis corresponds to the requirements of the Spitalwood State University of Rules and Regulations, and the applicant deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the uh, Candidate of Economic Sciences, Major 5 to 6 Management. Thank you. Thank you, Vladimir Alexandrovich. Who else is willing to take the floor? Dear colleagues, Guzev and Mikhailovich, uh, Associate Professor of the Department of Statistics and Audits in Petrovic State University. I was interested in the thesis by Alexander Pavlovich. But in a different aspect, I would like to pay attention to two components. First of all, he is a graduate of Rostov Economic School, and it's very pleasant for us. To uh, witness the high level of empirical analysis. And the traditional system of constant group had horizontal and vertical integration and diversification. And this is what our textbook usually uh, say. But the modern form of the constant development has the form of volume chains, price forming chains, which based on uh, digitalization creates a new system of ecosystem. And in here we can see that uh, the author provides pioneer approach to this aspect. And I believe that this research deserves being considered a fully fledged um, scientific work, and uh, the applicant deserves being the candidate of economic sciences. We did not receive any questions in the remote access mode, and I'd like to give the floor to Nikolai Kilesevich. The floor is yours, please. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Dear Chairperson, the members of the Decision Council, I would like to provide a very positive characteristic of Alexander Pavlovich. I would like to pay attention to the fact that he is a strong analytical scientist, which allowed him to found the channels of influence on the, the actors of the uh, value chains. He 
talked about his business with analytics dominating in it, especially in the data approach. Alexander Pavlovich is a person who studied a lot of sources, analyzed them in detail, studied significant uh, data on magnet chain uh, with more than 475 territorial units with more than one uh, shop in each place. Such um, active approach and analytical uh, capabilities uh, allowed to create such a positive scientific research paper. I do hope that Alexander Pavlovich will continue uh, developing his uh, scientific work and will proceed with doctoral degrees. I am very thankful to Sir Petersburg State University for the opportunity to discuss this paper at Petersburg State University. Thank you, Nikolai Kilesevich. Dear colleagues, uh, who would like to take the floor among those present? I would like to cause the, to close the discussion and no more questions will be received. Prior to the final voting, I'd like to ask the members of the decision council and the applicant. Do the members of the decision council and the council have any remarks or questions on the procedure of the meeting, including those related to the remote access mode. Dear colleagues, I would like each of you to uh, answer the question. No? None? Excellent, Samlich and Vladimir Mikhailovich, have you got any questions or remarks? None. <laughs> no, I have no objections. Would like to move to the next stage of the procedure. Dear colleagues, prior to the open roll call, we have the opportunity to announce the break with muted sound of the broadcast. Do you think that we need such a break to discuss the results of the defense? Do you love No. No. Since there is no need to uh, announce the break, uh, then we'd like to continue uh, the meeting and we move on with the procedure. The point of view of each member of the Scientific Council is voiced independently. The time is 4 o'clock 38 minutes Moscow time. We need to check whether we can see and hear each other well. I raised the question of awarding Bersakov Alexander Pavlovich the scientific degree of uh, the candidate for economic sciences major 526 management. We start the open roll call. When voting for each member of the decision council agrees that clauses 9 and 11 was not violated. The clause 11 says that in the thesis, the applicant has to refer, provide reference to the author and source of reference materials and results. When using the results of scientific works conducted by the applicant to himself or herself or as a co-author, the applicant has to identify the fact in the text of the thesis. I'd like to remind you that the decision of the decision council on awarding the scientific degree is considered to be positive if more 
left and a half, no, but no less than three members of the decision council voted for in accordance with clause 23 of the procedure. Kovalev Vitaly Valerievich, your opinion, please. I vote for. Thank you. Book of Alexei Alexandrovich, your opinion, please. I vote for. Vizdenyushnik Tatiana Ivanovna. I vote for. Pertakova Yulia Vladimirovna. I vote for. Duhov Vladimir Mikhailovich, your opinion, please. I vote for. And I. Karavlava Olga Nikolaevna, vote for. Thus. Esteemed colleagues and guests, I'd like to announce that out of six members of the decision council, six members of the decision council voted for, none against, none abstained. Thus, the decision in awarding Versakov Alexander Pudge the scientific degree of the Candidate of Economic Sciences, Major 526 Management, is adopted. Alexander Pellich, the floor is yours for the final word. I am very thankful to Nikolai Kolesovich, first of all, for his wisdom and for his patience throughout the years. And I'd like to thank St. Petersburg State University this is a unique uh, scientific environment. And thanks to St. Petersburg State University, it was a volcano of ideas and energy that allowed me to work on this uh, scientific issue after business work. Alexander Pavlich, we would like to congratulate you on awarding the scientific degree of uh, uh, candidate of economic scientist. And we hope for further prolific cooperation with somebody with State University. The meeting is declared closed. I'd like to thank all the participants for taking part in the meeting. Please turn off the live broadcast.